offense like you're their quarterback which is what senior was telling junior because you got to go get the football and you're not going to be as tall as strong or have long of arms so you have to get there and then figure out once you arrive how am i going to overcome my shortness which is going to here we go guys thursday four down now uh, one to go all right guys um wow what a day you know, they're going to start taking our temperature when we come in to work. I was like, they're setting up like a little tent and everything with this fiberglass everywhere. And it looks like some shit off of E.T. Y'all remember E.T.? 1982. Remember that? Remember how they had them suits on, them has, hazmat suits and, you know what I'm saying, them big ass visors and shit. And, you know, that's how, it, that's how it look. They got these white tents up here, man. And it's like, they getting it ready. I guess they're going to start tomorrow. And um, they're going to start taking... Because I guess one of the electricians up here, uh, he had the virus. And I don't know how the hell they figured out he had it, but he had it. So now they about to start taking... Now they want to start taking precautions. You know what, man? It's getting crazy, guys. Um, it's... Wow. It is... Uh, <laughs> for y'all that don't think y'all can't catch it, trust me, man. It's out there. And it's everywhere. You don't know who has it. You get what I'm saying? So make sure you're taking care of yourself, washing your hands, washing your ass, whatever you got to do, you know, picking the crust out of your goddamn ears or whatever. Whatever you got to do to stay clean. You know, just try to be clean, man. Be mindful. Keep your hands out your face and mouth and all that stuff. You know, I I, I'm a, I bite my nails, but I haven't bit them. Ever since this corona shit been going around, I haven't bit my nails, man. My, I actually got nails on my finger. You know, it's just it's weird, man. It's really weird. But uh, anyway, guys, y'all tell me something. You know, I was not going to make any more videos about Des Bryant. Really, especially now since I'm kind of winding down. And I'm. this is probably, these are my last couple, these are my last videos that I'm going to make. Uh, I'm, I'm coming, I'm, I'm getting, I'm heading towards a stopping point and uh, pretty soon. And so I can just take my break and I have to worry about, you know, videos, making cowboy content and all that stuff but um you know certain things i just kind of have to talk about oh uh, there's brian he's desperate isn't he i mean he's just I, I give him an a for effort though he's working hard he's really showing initiative he really wants to be not not only wants to play he he wants to be a cowboy like seriously he still think that there's something left on the table that he can contribute. And, you know, I'm not mad at it. You know, do you guys think we should take a chance on this? You know, I made a video the other day about uh, Antonio Brown. And everybody in the comments section pretty much agreed. You know, no, nah, we don't need the headache. You know, yada, yada, whatever. But uh, this Brian, I mean, you, you got to look at it. Okay. This Brian wants to be a cowboy. He wants to play. And um, he he still thinks that he can be a threat. Like, seriously. Y'all seen the workout videos and all that stuff and him working out with Dak and, you know, the cowboys, stuff like that. Uh, he got, you know, slaughtered for everybody that social distancing stuff. You know, they didn't follow by it. They just, you know, together throwing balls and yada, yada. Um, so... Him and Dak working together, that ought to tell you something right there. You know, he's really, really trying. He's really, hopefully, grown up from, you know. But, okay, here's the thing. It's been two years since Des Bryant has played the game of football. Two years, guys. Um, hmm. After two years, and the last time he played, he tore his Achilles. And, you know, he uh, just... I don't 
know. It just, it seems like his career was over. He's just 31 years old. I mean, that's not that old when you think about it. Hell, Jerry Rice played until he was 40-something. Y'all remember that? He can't, Jerry White Rice would not retire. They were forcing him to retire. He just wouldn't do it. But, um, you know, Jerry Rice was a different type of beast. Greatest receiver. One of the greatest players of all time. Um, so, Jerry Rice. There'll never be another Jerry Rice. So, you know. But anyway. Um, there's Brian, guys. 31 years old. Two-year absence. Torres Achilles. But, the good thing. Here's the good thing about this. All-time reception leader in touchdowns for the Dallas Cowboys. Three Pro Bowls, 2014, first team All-Pro. Uh, Des Bryant, in his prime, was a beast. An absolute beast. He just was unstoppable. Uh, he wasn't the best route runner in the game, but he had a different style to him. He was a go-getter, possession, strong possession type receiver. He didn't need the fancy routes. All you had to do was throw the ball up and he would go get it. See, him and Dak, y'all remember him and Dak's history in 2016, 17, you know. They weren't really in cahoots. They weren't really on the same page. Uh, they couldn't get on the same page. Because I'm going to tell you why. What I just say, Des Bryant is a possession receiver. He's a red zone threat. He doesn't need the fancy routes. All you got to do is throw the ball in the air and he'll go get it. Now, what type of quarterback was Tony Romo? Just write down in the comment section what type of uh, quarterback was Tony Romo. He was a gunslinging, Brett Favre type quarterback. He was... He was he was pretty accurate. But there were times where Tony Romo would throw interceptions too as well. Because he was a gunslinger. He just threw it up. Tony Romo was a different type of quarterback. He trusted his receivers to go get that ball. And a lot of times they did it. You know. Des Bryant was the perfect receiver. Everybody said, oh, uh, Tony Romo made Des Bryant who he is. You know, he might have. Who knows? But uh, Des Bryant was the perfect receiver for... Tony Romo. But Des Bryant just say throw it up. I go get it, man. And that's what he did. He went and got it. Des Bryant had the athleticism to go get it. That's just what type of guy he was. And uh, 80% of the time, he came down with it, especially in the red zone. So he is a red zone threat. Can he still be a red zone threat? Who knows? We don't know. I'm not going to lie and get up here and say, oh, he's, he's going to be, he's going to do this if he comes back. He's going to do that. I'm not going to do that because I don't know. And y'all don't know either, so don't act like you do. But I don't see, let me, let me, let me think, let me think this out before I even, there's Bryant coming back to the Cowboys with him. Um, now, would the Dallas Cowboys take a chance on him? No, I, I'm not, let, let me, I, I didn't mean to say no. I meant to say I don't know. <laughs> but I don't see what Hunter would do. We're, we're still looking for a slot receiver. Um, there have been rumors of, of, of Tony Pollard moving the slot, which is, I think is a bad idea. Maybe every, every you know, every now and then, okay, put Tony Pollard out there. He has the speed and the quickness, and he can catch the ball in the backfield, you know, out of the backfield. Uh, but as a as a consistent slot receiver, no, no. Keep him back behind Zeke. He's a threat behind Zeke if he gets in open space. It's all she wrote. You're not catching it. Uh, there have been other guys that's on this roster, you know, on the practice squad or whatever. Cedric, you know, Cedric Wilson, Noah Brown, Lance Lenore. But they don't have the experience and the know-how. Uh, Noah Brown a little bit, you know. But he's not that quick, crafty slot receiver that we need, that we're that the Dallas Cowboys are looking for. Cedric Wilson is probably the closest. Lance, Lord, Lance Lenore is still making mistakes, still has a hard time making a team. Um, so, and, and we still got the draft coming up. So, um, if you're against Des Bryant coming back, those are things that you would probably bring up. Um, but I, I'm going to go out on a limb here. I'm going to be a little different. I'm 
I'm gonna say, yeah, okay. Give him a shot. Uh, give him a shot. Go ahead and sign. Go ahead and give him an opportunity. What? Well, well, you ain't got nothing to lose. You get what I'm saying? You don't have anything to lose by giving Des Bryant an opportunity. Now, we all know what type of de uh, uh, guy and receiver Des Bryant is. Des Bryant is going to want to play and he's going to want the ball. See, when you're a slot receiver, you don't play all the time. Now, you have to be Dak Prescott's security blanket. So maybe that's what they're working on. It, it, you know, get, you know, working, working together and, you know, getting together and exercising together and everything, working out together. Uh, so maybe they're trying to develop a, a, a relationship on the field. So, you, you know, you just never know. That's what they're doing. But um, I, I, I don't know. I can't say yes. I can't say no. I keep going back. I, I, I don't know. I just, this is going to be in limbo for a little bit. It's something to talk about. You get what I'm saying? A lot of you guys are going to say, no, hell no, no dance. But a lot of you probably going to say, you know what? Why not? You know? And I'm kind of on there. I'm not yeah and I'm not no, but I'm like, I'm, I'm kind of in the middle. Like, why not? You know? Let's see what he can do. Let's see what he can still do. You know? I don't see no harm in it. You know what I'm saying? So it is what it is, guys. I, I, and, and we got the draft. I, I keep bringing up the draft. We got the draft coming up. But there's so many other needs first. We still need a tackle, a uh, defensive tackle. We still need a defensive end. Still drafted, you know, two you know, young guys on the defensive line. I, mean, I know we did a lot of signing in the free agency, but it, it's okay to get, you know, some young guys in, on that line too so they can learn. Uh, still, I, I still think we need to draft a linebacker. We still need a secondary. We still need cornerbacks and safeties. Um, you know, and I think slot receivers probably, I may be wrong, but shit, unless you get lucky and somebody's still available in the third or fourth round, you know, I don't know. But, uh, you know, we'll see. We'll see. But that's just my opinion on Des Bryant coming back to the Cowboys. Let me know. But this video is really about how you guys feel. Let me know how you feel in the comment section. Should the Dallas Cowboys take a chance on Dez, or should they not? Should they? Should they not? Who knows? Should they just flip a coin? Should they play patty cake, patty cake, bakers, man? Should they count feet? Bubble gum, bubble gum in the dish. How many goddamn pieces do you wish? Make sure you stay cowboyed up and prayed up, because you never know what the day is going to bring you. All about your boy. Remember when you spike bubble gum, bubble gum in the dish? You used to try to say, one, you try to do even, uh, even numbers, one, two, and you are not it. I'm out. And the only thing else I got to say is.